Yo YouTube, what's up? Just a quick video here. I want to show you what I'm doing on my 350 and maybe see if I can uh, help bring some clarity to some stuff. So right now I'm uh, changing the fuel pump out on my 350. This one still works. Uh, I think it's just a little weak and the fuel pump didn't cost much more than a, a fuel pump tester so I'm just buying a new fuel pump. But what I wanted to bring light to is I put this fuel filter in this bike less than 60 hours ago and you can see how black it is just for reference on the color that it used to be that's the top of the filter so all that black shit is stuff that got filtered out of my fuel tank um, inside my fuel tank if i could show you there is nothing gross inside my fuel tank so that's just crappy stuff that's in the gas uh maybe maybe some old fuel line or something i don't know my fuel lines are actually in good condition but you know, people brag and talk about how bad KTM fuel pumps are. I don't really know that they're all that bad. I think that they just get clogged up and they get weak and they fail. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because the KTM 690 gets a lot of flack for its fuel pumps. And, you know, there's it's it's not like a KLR where you can ride the thing 3,000 miles and not even, you know, look at the air filter. It's a much higher performance machine and I should have said 30,000 miles, right? Um, this is a much higher performance machine. It has fuel injection. It has multiple filters in it. You know, you're supposed to change out those little filters, I think, on the inline on the KTM in like like 30 hours, and the, the fuel filter in the tank probably never gets changed. A lot of these bikes that people are whining about, these fuel pumps going out in, they're, they're total pieces of shit and they don't do any maintenance on them at all all you got to do is like watch some of these youtube videos and look at that junk that they're working on and maybe that's the way you maintain your bike too but when a part fails because it's neglected and you haven't checked it for twenty thousand miles and it fails out on you know out in the middle of nowhere on you then you know maybe you should reassess kind of your your maintenance plan it's not just oil changes and air filters you got a high performance system like this um, fuel injection you need to do maintenance on it too so this is getting a, a new system in it and my 690 has 7,000 miles on it and i'm going to pull that out and replace the filters in tank and that and the inline one here pretty soon and the reason i suspect this this particular bike this 350 doesn't have enough um, fuel pump pressure i can't run the little inline filter in the fuel line because it, it's it, it doesn't get enough pressure to keep the bike running right and it starts running lean and stuff it also doesn't start very well and when i turn the key switch on you can hear the fuel pump fire up if i hit the starter right then it fires immediately it listen to it until it stops priming it doesn't really start very easy i just rear, 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 rear. and some people will blame ktm starters being weak it's not that the starter is really that weak I think it's in my case it's the fuel pressure so I just bought a new fuel pump to put in here I ride this thing I want it to run right and I definitely don't want it to run lean because I pretty much hold it wide open so anyway thanks for watching take care